everyone, and welcome to Bookcraft, the world where my friends and I build things from my favorite books and my own imagination. This series has been on a break for quite some time, so for many of you, this might be your first time in my Bookcraft world. And for those who are returning, I thought I would do something special and make some mini episodes of Bookcraft in 360 degrees. So you can actually look around wherever you want in this video. Go ahead. Uh, and if you just looked at the left, you might have seen Nathan come through the door. Hi, Nathan. Hello, Stacy. So as I was saying, this video is 360 degrees. So if you're using a VR headset, you can just look around the room. If you're using a phone or a tablet or a computer, you can drag your finger or your mouse to look where you want to look. You could just focus on dog ear the whole time. My adorable dog in this series. I've missed you, boy. Or you can look up and down. Who knows what you might see uh, if you look where I'm not looking. So this first episode is going to be a tour of the library station, which we are in now, as well as some of the first builds we ever did in Bookcraft, which was over two years ago. Oh, look over here. This is my writing desk where I can look out over my world. So far, we've built things from seven of my favorite books, but we are about to start the eighth book, actually. Uh, but I guess that would be easier to explain if we went to the Hall of Reading. So Nathan, why don't you lead the way to the Hall of Reading and guys, follow me. Come on, come on, dog ear. Ah, the Hall of Reading. In this room hangs a Minecraft banner for each of the books that we have read in Bookcraft, starting from the very beginning with the 21 Balloons, then Charlotte's Web, Hatchet, The 101 Dalmatians, Misty of Chincoteague, Island of the Blue Dolphins, and A Christmas Carol. Go ahead, take a look around, see all of the different banners. I guess we're gonna need one for the next book, which is Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. Down here is my room of materials where I keep all of the different building blocks that we use since Bookcraft is primarily a building series. And this is also where you can just come to get inspiration uh, for different builds. Uh, of course, we also have Nathan who is a whiz at changing out textures. Aw, thank you. Um, should we go say hi to you know who? <sighs> All right, let's go say hi to her. So this is the library station's librarian, Ms. Reads a lot. Uh, hi, Ms. Reads a lot. How are you? She doesn't like me very much. Uh, do you see where her cat is perched? That's her cat, Tib Willow. Ms. Reads a lot gives me the books that we read here in Bookcraft. Isn't that right? Reads a lot. We're not ready to start the next one yet. I want to show everyone the switch room, which is downstairs here. So I love trains, and Nathan is also a huge train aficionado. So all of the book builds in Bookcraft here have minecart tracks that connect them all around the world and these switches actually change the rails uh, that go to different sections of the tracks and those were put in by our redstone expert jazz panda it's probably easier to just show you what i mean so let's actually go meet jazz panda over on the 21 balloons book line come on dog ear So the very first book that I ever started building things from in Bookcraft was one of my favorites growing up called The 21 Balloons by William Penney Dubois. It's a book about a man who tries to fly his hot air balloon over the ocean, but he crash lands on an island that doesn't show up on any maps. And it turns out the people that are on the island are actually hiding a secret that the island has a huge diamond mine. It also has a huge volcano and the people of the island are really secretive and they build all these contraptions, one of which is the airy go round, which we're going to right now. Uh, but anyway, it made for a really amazing first book in Bookcraft. So if you look around right now, you can see that Bookcraft is of course in a mesa biome. Do you expect anything else from me? Uh, but it also has a plains where we've built some things from other books and it has a mushroom island which is actually not so much an island since it's connected to the mesa and by the way if you were looking around a little earlier you may have seen a ship a train and an airplane did you see all three uh, but now we are actually approaching the one of the first builds that I ever did in Bookcraft, which is the balloon wreckage that the main character in the story was found in, in the ocean. Uh, and then you can also see the huge hot air balloon called the globe that is spawning in in the distance. Oh, this is cool. The hot air balloon that the build team built is pretty good, if I do say so myself. The balloon wreckage, on the other hand, is a little pathetic. However, it does have a sentimental meaning to me because it was the first thing I built here. Um, is Doggear still behind me? 
Can you guys look behind me and make sure Doggy is still following on his minecart? He usually is pretty good about coming with me on all my adventures in Bookcraft, but sometimes he has a mind of his own and he prefers to just sit down and read a book somewhere and then I have to go look for him. Is he still there? Okay, good. So that is the island of Krakatoa that we are approaching in the distance with all those palm trees. Those were all built by hand, by the way. You will not find those in any normal Minecraft biome. I'm gonna show off our builds for the airy-go-round, which is basically like a merry-go-round, but in the air, as well as the giant raft of life, which just rendered in over there, and also the volcano. But first, the diamond mine. This is the diamond mine. <laughs> Isn't it impressive? No, sadly, it did not spawn naturally. Uh, Nathan, of course, is in creative mode, and so all of this diamond ore and diamond blocks are just magically appeared one day. Uh, pretty cool build, though, right? So now let's go and meet Jess Panda and show off his airy go round. Come on, dog air. All right, I am now here with Bookcraft's resident redstone expert, Jazz Panda, and Grazer's also here. I don't even remember whitelisting him on this server. Uh, anyway, Jazz Panda is going to show off the airy go round, which literally is thousands of command blocks that are underground right now. Look, it's just spawning in. If you look over to the left, uh, this thing is going to carry all four of us. Yes, Grazer, you can come uh, up into the sky. And one thing to remember, when watching this is that this is done completely by use of commands in normal Minecraft. There's not a single mod here, which is pretty impressive. And I was really excited that he pulled it off because it was probably my favorite part from the book, but I had no idea how he would actually do it. So let's go. And now for the perfect water landing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this 360 degree book review of the 21 balloons. I am going to put the playlist for Bookcraft in the description below if you want to start watching the series from the very beginning, but you can also join in when we start our next book very, very soon. I'm also going to be doing two more book reviews to show off my world in 360 degrees before the full episodes of Bookcraft resume. Uh, and now for my favorite part, Nathan, go ahead and press the button and blow Grazer up in the volcano. <laughs> All right, until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go read a book.